Tennessee football held its annual orange and white game today inside Neyland Stadium. White beats orange 17 to 14. Our sports team was there and they break down the big moment moments from today's scrimmage. The orange and white game has wrapped up here inside Neyland Stadium. I'm Karthik Venkatraman. That is Frank DeLuca. And Frank, one of the storylines we had coming into this game, we were watching very intently as much as all these other fans because they were hooting and hollering when he came into the game for his first series was how freshman quarterback Nico Iamaliaba would do. Yeah, of course, this was kind of the first time we've seen him in game action, if you want to say game action. But overall, I was impressed with him. He looked really mobile. I think that part of the scouting report lived up to the hype outside of the pocket. He looks super comfortable. And inside the pocket, he did some really nice things. I think overall, it's probably a little more than you might have expected. I think people were hoping he would throw for a touchdown. He didn't end up throwing one, but he did throw for 112 yards. And I remember that one pass that he threw down the sideline to Ethan Davis when you were talking about his mobility. He was scrambling out of the pocket, a really nice throw. Overall, pretty good showing from Nico. And, you know, it was fun to watch. And this is what Josh Heibel had to say about it. He does have a really good feel for a young guy inside of the pocket, when to step up, when to escape out the backside. Uh, he's dynamic and explosive, is a, just an athlete. Uh, so he's got the ability to, to get away from defenders, and, and he's got a, a really unique skill set uh, as he's uh, breaking contain. Another storyline we were watching for coming to this game would be how freshman running back Deshaun Bishop did. Of course, he's a Carnes graduate, so a local guy. And, well, he played pretty well, Frank. Yeah, and I think uh, we're probably – not going to expect to see too, too much of Deshaun during the season. Of course, two guys at the top of the depth chart, Jabari Small, Jalen Wright, were not playing in the orange and white game. But I think that also afforded us the ability to see Deshaun. And again, he looked pretty comfortable. He hit some nice gaps. He finished with 88 yards. So we really like what you see from a guy who's coming in, probably not expecting to play a huge role but still looking like he can make a difference. Those were the most for any running back on the roster. He definitely performed pretty well in this, and Josh Heupel had some nice words to say about him as well. For a freshman that's coming on campus, uh, should be going to his prom here next week or, or the following week. He's been really good, man. Um, you know, he's got uh, got great vision, got great pace, and, and uh, he's handled you know spring ball as a, as a newcomer extremely well. We'll be back with more orange and white coverage as we talk about Gaston Moore, who threw for two touchdowns in this game, as well as all the VFLs that showed up to this one. It was a fun one here inside Neyland Stadium, but for now, we'll send things back to you all.